Nee. Well, that's right. Mike and Ashley, I did talk to a specialist who says hopefully we all have our solar eclipse safety glasses. But even if you don't, he tells me that there are some common household items that you can use to safely project some shadows during this sun and moon crossover. No, it's fun and it, it gets people interested. Tomorrow morning, the skies will be showing off. Just after nine, the moon will start to move inside of the, in front of the sun. Look like it's taking a bite out of it. A solar eclipse with incredible prime viewing in central Utah. So the line actually runs from like Delta over to, uh, let's say, Richfield. Patrick Wiggins, the NASA really ambassador to Utah, tells KSL 5 News Nephi is the location divider which determines whether you will see a partial eclipse or the iconic ring of fire. That ring of fire will last about three minutes. And you're not going to see it from up here, and you're not going to see it in southern Utah. So what if you are living along the Wasatch Front or down in southern Utah? What is the best way to create a maximum experience? NASA specialists <laughs> say if you don't have approved safety glasses, turn to a common kitchen utensil. Go into your kitchen and get a colander out, you know, the thing with all the holes in it or whatever for cooking spaghetti. A colander may just bring some wonder to your solar eclipse morning. Hold it up, let the sunlight go through all those myriad of holes onto a sheet of paper. And before the eclipse, there'll be just all these round uh, shadows. But as the eclipse progresses, Every single one of those will turn into miniature eclipses. Yeah, that's a great idea. My kids are going to absolutely love trying that. Now, we're told that a reminder to wear those approved eclipse glasses, they are necessary if you're going to be looking straight into the eclipse. Now, Mike, because of the impressive nature show that's happening tomorrow, Clark Planetarium is actually hosting three different locations where they're having parties. One at the Gateway, also there's one at the Magna Regional Park and the Whitmore Library in Cottonwood Heights. Sure to be a memorable event for all who take part. Back to you. I like the colander idea, you know, watch the eclipse, have a little spaghetti, call it a day, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. All right, Brittany, good stuff. Thank you.